Hey guys, you've seen my master bathroom before. Today I'm going to give you a tour of how I have everything organized, my makeup, my toiletries, all that. So here we go. All right, I'm going to start from the top and work my way down. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these baskets that I have on top of this open shelving and I will show you what I keep in here. First of all is this basket that I use to keep all of my hair supplies. And I just have dumped in here all of the things I use, my hairspray, my um, dry shampoo, and then the two different combs. This comb is really dirty, sorry. Combs that I use, and I just set it right here when I'm getting ready, and it's easy to access, super simple. And I like that these baskets are um, not see-through, so I can just dump, literally dump things in there, and it doesn't matter what they look like on the inside because it looks pretty on the outside. And then this other basket right here holds my um, tampons, panty liners, that's all that's in there. And you don't even need to see that, so you know what those look like. They're in there. Just take my word for it. <laughs> so then this shelf is where I um, keep things that I use every single day. So first of all, I have these two containers for my makeup brushes. Got this one. This is a julep cup that I got at Walmart when I was in high school. I've had it forever. I keep my tall brushes in this one, and then I keep my short brushes in a little mason jar. I, for the longest time, kept all my brushes in this one. I don't know why I did that, because... It made it really difficult to like dig around and try to get the brush that I wanted. <laughs> so I finally got smart and used, decided to use two jars so that all I have to do is just look and see the one I want and grab it. It's so much easier. And then I honestly always leave two bobby pins sitting right there on the shelf. I use them every day when I'm getting ready to keep my hair out of my face. They're easy to access and I just leave them right there. Uh, this basket here is from TJ Maxx. I got it on clearance. In the back, I keep my Velcro rollers that I use when I'm getting ready every day. And the front just has a stack of washcloths that I replenish every Saturday when I do our linen laundry. And then this organizer is also from TJ Maxx. I really like it. I like the clear. It's really pretty. I keep my Q-tips in here. I keep these, um, what are these called? The little those things that I used to take my makeup off with. And then in the back, I hate, they put the sticker on this organizer so it does not, I can't get the sticker to come off. I'll just turn that around facing the back. Um, I keep my everyday lotion in here, the little thing that I use when I'm washing my face, and then a few other like lip gloss and stuff, and then my Q-tips are in there. So it looks really pretty sitting here on the shelf. It's really easy to access. And I made sure to put only things in there that I'm reaching for every single day. This organizer lives next to the sink, but it's easier to film right here and show you. So I'm just going to move it over here and show you. It's three-tiered. It is a metal organizer that I got at TJ Maxx. It was about $15, I believe. And I'll just pick it up and show you what's on the bottom. There we go. So you can see that. The bottom shelf holds two extra hand towels and my curling iron. I like that I can just, when I finish using my curling iron every day, I just unplug it and just th literally throw it down there. That way it's, it, it can cool, it doesn't hurt anything to be laying on that wire or on the towel. And it's out of the way. I used to always leave my curling iron sitting right there on the toilet all day long and it looks so messy. So I love being able to have it put away. Then the second shelf holds my toilet paper. I do not have a toilet paper roll on the side of my cabinet. There's not room for it. And it's really not hard. I'll just reach over and grab it when I need it. <laughs> Then this organizer here is again from TJ Maxx. It was um, maybe about $6, I think. Thankfully, this one doesn't have any stickers on the side, so I can show any side that I want. And I do have to wipe this out about once a month. It gets pretty dusty and gross, and I did just clean it, and it's already looking dusty again, but I did clean it last weekend, I promise. So you can just see I have everything in here that I use on a daily basis. I make sure that these are things that I reach for every single day or at least a couple times a week. You know, I have a couple different foundations and that kind of thing, but I don't use a ton. And then I just have another mason jar in here to corral all the tubes of things that I use every single day. And I have a hair tie right there. I use that every once in a while. So that's all the makeup that I use on a daily basis. I have some backup makeup in um, a closet. And then I have some other, a few other things in another drawer in my dressing table in the guest room. But for the most part, this is everything that I use every day. So it's really easy. And I actually really love having it um, out and not in a cabinet. I used to have a cabinet right here on this wall and I have to open the cabinet and pull out my bin to get to anything. So if I just wanna run in here really quickly and just freshen up my makeup like powder or something, it's right there. It's so easy to grab and I really, really love that. All right, so now you can see where that organizer lives. It's right there next to the 
sink and see there's really not room if I put a roll of paper right here it would just be in the way when I was trying to reach for those things so it's easy just to have the TP right there not a big deal at all so here is this little cabinet and you can't put any other shelves in it because the sink pipes are right in the middle so here's what I did I found these organizers at the Dollar Tree so they were a dollar each obviously and they just sit on top of each other and I have these in another cabinet so I've already learned that the things that are down in here are really hard to get to as you can see it's like way back in there so I made sure that the things I use in here I don't keep it very full and they're just things that I reach for every single day that are right here on the top so I've got I love little mason jars I have my toothbrush toothpaste in a mason jar and then my night cream the mask that I use about twice a week and then my makeup wipes are right there I reach for those often and then right here I just lean these out and they the cabinet does close very easily um, as you can see it's pushed back far enough so my lotion that I use every day is sticking out and my deodorant and then back in the back here and this also comes out uh, without me having to take this off but I have in here a little bin to corral those things so I can pull it forward. So I have my makeup setting spray. I can use it every once in a while. And then I have like some floss. And then I have this, um, I just use tribal shampoo, whatever I have on hand for washing my makeup brushes. So I keep a little bottle of that in there. Uh, and anything else that I might use occasionally is in there. If that wasn't too loud, sorry. And then I put my trash can in here just so that it's out of the way, which I really like having it in here that way. Um, it just looks a lot prettier and then I have my Clorox wipes that I use every day and I really found those are super effective with having all this white cabinetry in here it's really nice to just wipe the sink down every day I wipe the inside of this cabinet right here because it gets splattered sometimes and this little shelf I actually don't keep anything on I just use it when I'm getting ready but what I do is I pull that mirror over so that I can use that for close-ups I set the little thing of brushes right there and then my big brush is there and then my makeup's right there and then I will set my phone right there on that shelf and watch YouTube or something while I'm getting ready. And that is my little setup, so it works pretty well. Here I am. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!